Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. You can find some of the best eats at the darnest places. We are at the Marathon here on Washington Avenue in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. And we're getting ready to go in a little back door back here. And we're going to be doing some beef jerky with Smokehouse Bayou right after this. inside the headquarters of Smokehouse Bayou. This is the facility where they make the beef jerky that is really becoming a big splash here in the south. They do all the packaging in-house and I'm going to introduce you to uh, Brian Ducharme. This is the man behind the jerky right here. How, How you going, doing, man? Brian? Doing good. Doing good. 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 So Glad y'all are here. Yeah, man. I've been in here once before and actually tried your jerky hot mm -hmm. off the pit. I actually talked about that in a video I did with T-Roy and Jax, um, I don't know, maybe four months ago. Mm -hmm. And I uh, had them try your jerky, man. They right. absolutely loved it. Yeah. But today you're going to show us the steps that you do in making this jerky. And absolutely, man. Such as that. You know, when you get it right off the pit, you can just get some mashed potatoes and some green beans and you got yourself an entree there. Oh, it's yeah. Really, it's nice and soft when it's coming off that pit, man. Man, yeah. yeah. Heck, yeah. <laughs> You know, and most jerky, like you buy in a store, that's been dehydrated. It's not really smoked, is it? Is that correct? A or? large amount of jerky that's on the market has been dehydrated. Okay. Which, uh, and when I first started, that's how I started. Okay. You know, just as a hobbyist, right. you know. Uh, had a little round dehydrator, you see them at Walmart mm -hmm. or I've whatever. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I was a hunter, so I would make a lot of deer jerky. And uh, I was in the medical field and I owned a medical business, and so I would give it to doctors and hospice nurses and stuff okay. like that, you know. Yeah. But uh, after uh, I sold that business, uh, I bought myself a little $169 Cajun injector smoker. Wow. Right? And I uh, put it on my back porch and started smoking chicken wings and this and that and the other. And I decided one day, man, I'm going to smoke some jerky. I've never smoked it, you know. It's always been dehydrated. Yeah. So I uh, put it on the smoker. Um, Man tried it when it came off, and and of course it wasn't what we have developed into today right. as far as the flavor and all, but it was just five times better than dehydrated. I can and, imagine. Oh man, my dad lives with me, and he's from Opelousas, Louisiana, and you know them guys over there can make anything taste good, oh, yeah. you know. And so he was my taste tester, and uh, man, look, we smoked meat around the clock for about four months. Wow, working on our marinade. And, uh, and I tell people like when you made a change in your, when we made a change in the marinade, it would be three days before we knew, knew whether or not it was a good idea. I read that you on know? your website on the Bayou. So that's what you're referring to. Yeah. Is that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And so, uh, anyway, we just kept, uh, you know, it became an obsession and, uh, one day, probably about four months in my dad looked at me and he says, son, do you know how you did this last batch? And I showed him my notebook where I've been taking all these notes. And uh, he said, this is it, man. This is the best jerky I've ever had. Wow. So we just started letting people try it. and I know it's the best I've ever had. Oh, thank hands you, down. Man. Thank you. So let's go ahead. We, and we say it's made with love on the bayou. There you, you go. Know, so. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. And you can kind of walk everybody through how you uh, do things. Here. Okay. Well, I tell you what, you know, when we first get to meet, uh, we use eye round. All right. And it's. It looks like a loaf, you know, when, right. when you get it in and we trim it all down, mm -hmm. fully denude it. Then we run it through our slicer, right? Okay. And uh, man, we first started, it was hand, it was hand slicing. Oh, I yeah, bet. Now we've got something that can knock it out pretty quick. Right. But, um, and then um, actually we have mixed our marinade. I mix all my marinades here, except mm -hmm. for a couple that we have mixed uh, downtown at the saucery okay. in Ocean Springs. And uh, and we just put that marinade in with our meat in our. We've got a vacuum tumbler. Okay. Okay. And uh, we just put it all in together. The vacuum tumbler puts a seal or puts a vacuum on the uh, the compartment, mm -hmm. which opens up the pores of the meat. Okay. And it and it uh, speeds up the marinating process. Right. Where we would when we first started, we would have it sit in the marinade for two days. Okay. How long does it have to go now? Like Man, that? just under an hour. Really? And that's equivalent to two days, you know. In wow. the now, this is somewhere where, where, you know, we're talking about making jerky and, yeah. and something that I've learned that I don't mind sharing with people 
is you'll see things out there that'll say, you know, 30 minute marinade or an hour marinade or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people, look, man, two things I found is there's a lot of good marinades out there, mm -hmm. even homemade, right? Okay. But typically people won't use enough of it. Right. And they won't marinate it long enough. That's the, you know? Yeah. So yeah. like my grandfather always taught me, man, just do a little extra. So yeah. when it says marinated for a day, I marinated it for two days. There and I go. think those types of things are what lead to a lot better product. Uh, Russ, what we got here, man, this is a small uh, vacuum tumbler. Mm -hmm. And it'll hold, uh, it's like a 40, no, 50 pound uh, is its limit or whatever. Right. So we'll put, in, in our process, we put uh, one pound of marinade to every four pounds of meat. Wow. So it works out really good here. So we'll put 40 pounds of meat in here and then 10 pounds of marinade. You know? okay. And I call it marinade. Most people, when they think of a liquid, you know, they call a marinade a liquid or right. a liquid marinade and the other a rub or a seasoning. But I, uh, everything we do is dry rub, dry seasoning. Right. But within 15 or 20 minutes, it's all turned to liquid. So I just always call okay, it Okay, so it's not a liquid marinade. It's, it's right. a dry right. marinade. It's a dry seasoning rub. Wow, because yeah. right now it looks liquid. That's I'm, right, right. Yeah. Once it runs for a little while, it just pulls it's sweat, it's it's sweat to pull the meat. moisture out. Right. It's got some sugars and some salts and things that are going to compete for that moisture in the meat. Right. Because that's one of the things with jerky. We've got to get it down to where it's shelf stable. Got gotcha. you. know, so the water activity needs to be about 0.84 or below. Okay. And that way it'll be shelf stable. So that's one of the parts of the process is getting that uh, getting that moisture out. And it starts with the marinade. And that's what amazes me about your jerky. You know, you're, you're pulling the moisture out, but it still feels moist yeah. right yeah. out of the bag. Right. right. You yeah. Know, yeah. It's amazing. Um, you know, we'll we'll hook this thing up and it'll put a suction on this machine. Right. And then we just, uh, we'll turn it on here and you can see it just tumbles. Okay. And we let it tumble for about an hour. I think I need one of those in my kitchen. Man, this thing, <laughs> it, it really is amazing, you know. Yeah. And then we can go straight from the tumbler to the smoker. Okay. You know, so. Russ, the uh, smoker that we use to make Smokehouse Bayou jerky is a Southern Pride. This particular model is what they call a 500. It's a, uh, it's kind of on the middle side uh, as far as smokers. They make smokers that are quite a bit larger than this. And I sure hope to have a herd of them one day, you know. But uh, this thing is a, it's a rotisserie smoker. I'll show you from the inside here. Oh, man. It rotates around. It's got a fan in here, and that basically helps eliminate any hot spots. So it it, it smokes very evenly, cooks very evenly, you know. And it it has 15 of these uh, racks on it. And we can put about 90 pounds wow. of jerky on it one time. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I need one of these in my living room wall, man, just like you got. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> it yeah. Is. That is a fantastic. Yeah, when we moved in here, um, I, I asked Julian, I said, man, let me just throw this out there. Is there any way we could install this thing where it sits outside and we just can access the face of it? Right. And he was like, absolutely, man. They did a great job on yeah, installing this thing. Go out on the outside and show everybody yeah. how the outside. Yeah, we we'll show the firebox and how we get everything set up. Okay. It's a, uh, it, it's got a propane assist. Basically, you fill the firebox up. Right. And uh, the propane kicks on, gets the wood going. Then the mm -hmm. propane will kick off. Right. The wood smoking. It's maintaining temperature. But if it falls below uh, the temperature that you set, and it's within five degrees, it'll kick that propane on again right. and get that temperature back up where it needs to be. Got yeah. it. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. It's pretty efficient, I'm thinking, too, because it doesn't have to run constantly. Like I said, once all it does is light the wood, and the wood takes over from there. Absolutely. Okay. Let's go take a look at the firebox. Um, this is a firebox right here. Oh, man. And today, we're going to be smoking uh, with cherry wood. I love cherry wood. Okay, so you wet it? Or I do. I, no, I like to soak it before okay. I put it in there. And I'm just going to start with a couple of sticks, and then we'll we'll smoke. And probably about halfway through the smoke, I'll come add this last stick. Okay. And that'll last us. Man, cherry wood smokes so Man, well as far as cooker. Yeah, it's very efficient. How long is it going to take that to do the jerky? We're going to smoke for right at four hours. Four hours. Yeah. And three logs, basically. Yep. Wow. Yep. Isn't yeah, that great? I need one of these. Yeah, this thing's <laughs> awesome, man. This up here is a smoke extractor. 
So when we open the doors on the inside, we'll barely open them at the beginning, right. you know, or when it's when we're checking on the jerky, yeah. and it'll pull the smoke out of there so, so it, it doesn't get in the room as bad. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. awesome. So. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I just removed the tumbler. We bring it over here to the smoker, and uh, and start the complicated process of loading the strips on the racks. <laughs> <laughs> And this is Miss Shayla. Hello. Hey, Shayla. She is my partner in crime at Smokehouse Bayou. All right, so Brian, how many flavors and what are they of your beef jerky? Well, this flavor that we're smoking today is, uh, is actually, I mean, I love them all, but I love spicy. I know you love spicy, oh, man, too. Yeah. I talked with you about that. Absolutely. Um, this is a black cherry. A spicy black cherry and so we make it with a scorpion pepper and some other peppers Ooh, but yeah. yeah it's a and I tell you what when when you taste this when we, we've smoked it it's amazing uh, usually the reaction we get when we tell people this is spicy and they bite into it they don't get it right away right it's got some brown sugar in the in right. the uh, in the marinade as well catches up and we just tell just wait, just wait, it's coming. About yeah. 20 seconds into it, it's like, whoo! Yeah. <laughs> give me some water, give me some milk. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we're smoking today. Our um, our number one seller is called Smoke Pecan. Mm. And um, and you know, when you have, your, your mild flavors are always gonna outsell your spicy flavors, you know? Because people that, people that like spicy will eat mild, but people that like mild, uh, typically won't eat spicy. Right. So you, you typically sell more mild of anything, you know, than spicy. Exactly. But that uh, smoked pecan, we smoke it with pecan wood. I kind of like, I mean, I like naming our flavors after after the wood we smoke it with, you know. So we have a smoked hickory as well. It's, con you know, it's a, it's a mild flavor. And then a flavor that we just kind of stumbled upon. I mean, it was totally an accident. Um, and you've tried it, it's because it's the burnt ends. Burnt ends. Yeah. Now, I've noticed that's not on your website. Is that going to be on the website? It will. Point? Yeah, okay. it sure will. The burnt ends, um, Shayla and I, we used to rent a uh, barbecue restaurant here locally on their days off. We would go in and, and smoke jerky. And uh, anyway, before we moved into this place. Right. And one day, uh, their smoker was sitting outside. It was a smoker similar to this, but it was it was on. You'd have to go outside to to load it. And uh, I would always get the pit fired up and and going. You know, set it at like 275 degrees or something, get it going. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when we were ready to 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 go load it, we would load on smaller racks and just set the racks in it. Well, uh, I forgot to lower the temperature on the pit. Oh. And so we're sitting there, just waiting for the for the uh, the smoke cycle to finish, and we're about halfway into it, and I just jump up from the table, and Shayla's like, "Where are you going?" You know, <laughs> and man, I'm like burning it around the corner to get to the smoker, and I swing the smoker doors open, and all the uh, the meat in there was sizzling, and I just I thought, man, I just ruined like eight hundred dollars worth of beef jerky, Ooh, right? Man. But we let it rotisserie out and cool off. Yeah. And then we tried it. And it was like, my goodness, this is good. You know? <laughs> so we let people, we, we brought, we actually went to a gym that uh, we're friends with the owner and let him try it. And look, everybody loved it. It became our second best seller almost immediately. It is good. That's what yeah. I had at the house today when uh, T Roy and Jackson's over with some right. of our hands. They yeah. loved it. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. What uh, temperature are you smoking this at? We're going to start out at about 175 degrees and uh, let it smoke there for about an hour. Okay. Then we're going to adjust it up to 190. Okay. And it'll smoke there for right at three hours. I'm going to have, let me shut these doors here. This thing will fire up. All right, Brian, you was telling me something here the other day about tactical games. Yeah. 
in, uh, in February, there's an event, right? There is, man. And hopefully I'm going to be able to go join you on that. No, you're going. We done recruited you. Okay. I've told everybody right. you're going to be there cooking, so you got to go. Okay, good deal. <laughs> That'll work. Explain a little bit about it. What is it? Well, a uh, good friend of ours, Tim Burke, is mm -hmm. the founder of the Tactical Games, and um, he is an ex-Special Forces guy. Uh, spent, I think, 24 years in the Army mm -hmm. and basically put together an event where it's uh, the best way to describe it, and I'm sure a lot of your viewers have heard of CrossFit, mm -hmm. which is a fitness regiment, you know, but it's basically CrossFit meets combat. Okay. These guys are doing obstacles and running and climbing ropes and pushing sleds, but they're also uh, firing live ammunition for really? accuracy. And it's a two-day event. It's a big-time competition. Live ammunition? Yes, live ammunition. Going? You're going. <laughs> Meridian, Mississippi, man. Meridian, okay. I mean, I love their their slogan is like, uh, we're looking for the most dangerous athlete in the world. Well, that ain't me. So, I'll be, I'm cooking, right? That's right. Okay. We'll be feeding the most dangerous athletes in the world, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, this is, it's a... Uh, they, they've held them in North Carolina, I think in Florida as well. Okay. So it's an up and coming brand. Right. And uh, it's gaining a lot of traction, man. We're excited about this event coming up in February. Awesome. Yeah. And you're an official sponsor. We're the official beef jerky of the tactical games, man. We're really excited about that. That works. Heck yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, we're still waiting on this jerky to finish up. How long do you think we got left on that? Uh, uh, well, we didn't do a full smoke uh, as far as filling up the, the smoker, so right. I think we're going to be able to knock off about 15 to 20 minutes, so I'm thinking okay. we've got about 20 more minutes. All right, so we're going to take some of this downtime and, and show you a couple things. First thing, this is a recipe that you developed, mm -hmm. and what he did just a second ago is he took some jerky from a previous cook, a previous smoke, and he put it in this processor, and he's got it all how would you say uh um, bacon bitted that's what i call it bacon bitted <laughs> that's what it looks like it's bacon bit so he's going to show you this recipe right. and we're going to give it a try yeah go ahead yeah this is real simple um man when when shayla and i take this this little dip to parties yeah oh my goodness man we had a uh what that's gonna fall out we had a older couple we had taken this to like a christmas party Ooh, that smells good hold on that smell good and uh the lady said uh where can i where can I get this dip? I said, well, just call me. I'll make you some of it. She said, look, my husband, first he tried it and he was putting it on, he was dipping his potato chips in it. Yeah. And then she said, you know, we were grilling out and she said, then he got his uh, uh, baked potato and I, she said he poured it all over that. And then yeah, he got his steak off good. the grill and poured it all over his steak. I'm like, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. But anyway, we just, uh, man, just do this to taste. But look, it's just smokehouse by you jerk. Be good on a baked potato though. Oh yeah. On a on a uh, hamburger too, really? That's unbelievable. Huh. Of course, you, you you when you taste it, you'll see what you okay what you think about it. So we'll just use any kind of ranch dressing. Okay, you know. Any particular amount or? Well, <coughs> I just do it to eyeball. Yeah. Just a good Man, coating. Huh? Yeah, we cook like grandma around here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I don't like it. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna. I'm probably gonna use this whole bottle just because. Okay. What we don't eat, my daughter has been on me to make her some of this. Right. And, uh, get that out of there. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's good. I think I'm going to put a little bit more in there because you can't overdo it. Get that back. Now, look. I'm Cajun, so I like to put a little bit of cayenne yeah, pepper right. in it. Right about that. Just got to put a little. I don't do too much, but just, just enough. Just a little kick. There. Just enough to kick it a little bit. All right, Russ. Go ahead and get you a potato chip That's right it, there. Huh? See what you think about that. Okay. Tortilla trick. Yeah. Oh man, that's really good. Wow. Very simple, but just comes out it only glass, it, man. Yeah, I was expecting like a heavy ranch flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm. That taste reminds me of something I've had in the past that was a dip. That's good, that's really good. Isn't that good? That took on a totally different flavor, yeah. man. I don't want to double it's dip. Got that, it's got that smoky flavor to it. And you can just, you know, like I said, put it on a baked potato, put it on a hamburger. Mm. 
Uh, look, my kids dip pizza in it. Man, we delicious. have stood here with Smokehouse Bayou jerky and dipped really? jerky in the jerky <laughs> dip. That's how much we like it. So. <laughs> mm. It's good. Fantastic. Man, that's really good. Yeah. I'm going to try some of that, Derek. Yeah. Now, before this jerky gets ready, uh, I want to show you that jerky is not all they sell. They also they got these products right here. You want to describe mm -hmm. them, Brian? Yeah, we just, uh, well, this is our Bayou Dust. This was our first rub that we came out with. Okay. Uh, if, you're, if you see our jerky out on the shelf and mm -hmm. you see Chipotle, smoked Chipotle, it's going to be made with this. Really? That'll give you an idea of what I've what got some at the house. I've, I've yet to use that. So right. I've got to try that soon. Yeah, this is good on, you know, I mean, we use it on ribs. It's got a little bit of bite to it, you right. know. It's salt, like if you taste it in your hand, it's yeah. going to have a little little bite to it, but it's going to it's gonna mellow down a little bit okay. on, when you cook ribs or chicken right. or whatever. Excellent on chicken. Uh, we do ribs with it okay. uh, as well. Um, and like I said, it's just got a little Cajun flavor. It's that sweet right. heat that I we're kind of like known it, for, you know. I would absolutely like it. This this uh, product is is pretty new. It's our spicy Bayou sauce, right? And I don't call it a hot sauce, mm -hmm. but it, it does have some heat with it. There's no okay. doubt. Um, vinegar based. Vinegar based. Okay. Very simple sauce. Great on wings, man. Really? I love them on wing. I love this on wings. Um, but like this morning, man, I had a little egg wrap, you know, a little uh, for mm -hmm. breakfast, and I'm just dipping in in this sauce. If you like yeah. kind of Louisiana flavored Flavor. hot sauce, yeah. And we actually make this hot sauce with uh, the Bayou Dust, so okay. it's got our flavor profile with it. Cool. Uh, this is our marinade uh, glaze. Okay. Okay, we use this on chicken, pork, whatever. I know Julian likes it on steak. I, this is not really my flavor for steak, but okay. uh, I, and you'll be surprised, man. I want to get you to do this recipe one uh, sometime. It's just a snapper. Okay. And we'll put it on the grill, put a little pat butter on it, you know, little mm -hmm. pats of butter on the grill, and then just kind of douse the the uh, fish with this. As it's cooking? No, we'll go ahead and put it on there. Okay. I'll smoke it with cherry wood. Oh, you put it on before you cook it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got you. Set it on the grill in a pan. Right. Have some cherry wood smoke. Smoke it at about uh, 300 for about an hour and 10 minutes, wow. hour and 15 minutes. It's fish dessert, man. I mean, it really. I believe you. Amazing. After tasting this dip, I believe you when yeah. you say something tastes good. Yeah. That was amazing. Uh, this is our barbecue sauce, man. Now, I have tried this, and that is fantastic barbecue sauce. That, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it's got the perfect balance between like the vinegar and the sweet. It's, it's not as vinegary as like a Carolina sauce and not as sweet as like a Memphis. It's somewhere in between that. It's a perfect balance, a really good sauce. Yeah, kind of like us, just the perfect yeah, balance. Yeah, the perfect of balance. Brains man. and brawn, you know, That's it. that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man, when we were developing this, uh, we worked closely with the saucery. Yeah. And uh, got this developed, and my daughter, she's 12, and I kept bringing back you know, home, like, what do you think of these four, you right. know, and then the next day, what do you think of this? And finally, she gave me the two thumbs up, you All know, right. and this you sauce, and we were down. in agreement with that, yeah, so, <laughs> and, um, oh, this is our steak dust, we developed this just a few months ago, Okay. and it's, uh, it's a no sugar, I mean, it's basically a, a salt and spice, Right. Um, kind of a, Montreal type. Yeah, thing. like a Montreal. That's exactly what I'm, it kind of escaped me there. But uh, okay. Yeah. So great on chicken as well. Yeah. You know, burgers. hamburgers. Yeah, we we'll grind it into the meat. Okay. The burgers. That's so a good idea. little goes a long way with this stuff, right? right. And uh, this is our snack stick, man. This is uh, oh, I love these things. Yeah, we sell we sell a lot of these things, man. It kind of we wanted something where you know, like a family goes to a ball game and they're carrying yeah. our jerky in a concession stand, and you got three kids. Well. That can get expensive, oh, yeah. you know. So we came out with something that's got a little bit uh, lower price point, right? Uh, to, to for kids and this and that and the other. However, it's just a great snack. We sell a lot to hunters, yeah. And it's a uh, half beef, half pork. Oh, really? And, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. and it's good got, combination. It's got a little bit of spice to it, but not too much. Okay. You know, so. well, is all this available on the website or uh, let's see? Got to be added. Or this what? is on the website. The marinade, the barbecue sauce, the uh, bayou dust, and the snack stick. Yeah, they're all available on the website except these two uh, products right here. However, if uh, they will be added soon, 
And if uh, if need be, they can just email us through the website, and Shayla can get them to them. So, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We just opened up the smoker. Uh, we're letting uh, let letting some of the heat off. We let some of the smoke off. We've got the smoke extractor that turns on automatically when we open up the door, so it pulls the smoke out of it, so we don't have it in this room, you know. Right. And then uh, so it's kind of just cooling the jerky right now. Okay. So we're letting it rotisserie out. Then I'm gonna let you try some. Oh man. All right. Can't wait. Yeah. All right. So we're ready, huh? Yeah, man. Right, I'm just gonna take a little small piece right here. All right. Hopefully it's not too hot. Now remember, it's got some spice to it. That's that spicy black cherry. Okay. You see that? Now this is a small piece. He's got pieces in there that long. What do you do with them longer pieces like that? You uh, we'll run them through a slicer and cut them up twice to get them to bite size, okay. and then we'll package them. Yep. All right. Well, let me try this. Now the spice doesn't so typically hot. come right away, right? But it is hot off of the mm. smoker, so great flavor. I'm picking up. Oh yeah! Here it comes. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> killer jerky. I'm going to have a link in the description for Smokehouse Bayou. You can buy this. It's, it's pre-packaged. It's not going to be hot like this, but it's going to be just as good. Brian, I really appreciate you taking time out of your day and yeah, doing man. this. Enjoyed the video and take away, right? I'm going to get shot up with live ammunition. That's right. Tactical games. February okay. 23rd and 24th in Meridian, Mississippi. I might get some footage of that too. Who wants to see that on video? Leave it in the comments. Until next time, smoke your ribs.